guys, it's Kaylee, and today I am going to show you my everyday makeup look. It was highly requested on Twitter, so that's what I'm going to do. This was actually requested when I was in my other room and I first started my YouTube channel, so I just thought I would show you guys this. If you guys like these type of videos, leave it a like down below because it just tells me that you like these and I'll make them more. Also, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button because it just makes me infinitely cooler. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Oh hey, there I am. Bare skinned. Oh, yep. Cute. Okay, so first thing I'm doing is taking my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 112, as you can see. And I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, just a little bit, don't put too much. I put a little too much there. And then I'm taking a damp beauty blender and warming that up on the back of my hand. And then applying it to my face with a padding motion. Also don't forget your neck because you don't want to have that gross foundation line. And also put a little bit on your ears so you don't have a foundation line there, too. And that's me dancing to a random song. That's... okay, great. Thought there was a human outside my window right here and I got a little scared. Okay, now I'm just taking the excess off with a towel. Yep, that's a waste, but hey. I put too much on in the first place. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm just going to put this on my under eyes and any redness or spots that I have on my skin. And then I'm just going to buff that out with my damp beauty blender once again. Okay, now I'm taking a highlighting concealer and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's a brightener and illuminator. And I'm just going to apply this to my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, the center of my forehead, and my under eyes. Oh, and my jaw. Once again, I'm going to buff that out with a damp beauty blender. Okay, so the face is done, and now I'm just going to set it with my e.l.f. full face brush. And I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. Trans transparent, excuse me, which is 001. Next, I'm taking this really gross beauty blender and my NYX matte bronzer in the shade light. And this is going to look very extreme when I first do it. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to put this, and this beauty blender is dry, so I'm just going to put it straight into my contours. So I'm putting that in my cheeks, on the top of my forehead, because as you can see I have a very large forehead. A little bit on my temples, and then I'm taking the tip of the beauty blender and putting it right under my jawline. I'm just going to take this flat blending brush, I don't know exactly what it's called, oh, JK, it's a bronzer brush, and this is from Avon. It doesn't say though. And I'm just going to blend all of that out. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender that I use for foundation and just buff out any harsh lines that I see in my bronzer. Then I'm just going to go over with my powder brush again to further smooth any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm going in with this brow brush, also from Avon, and I am using the flat side to just roughly comb through my brows before I put any product in them. Now I'm taking this really old eyebrow powder from Avon once again. Looks like that. It's already hit pan. And I'm going to take the brush that comes with it, and now I'm going to do my brows very unconventionally. I'm underlining my brow first. And then I'm going to elongate the tail of my eyebrow. And then I am just going to fill in the rest of my eyebrow. It's 
since I have light hair anyway, my brows should be two to three stage darker. So this is why I do my brows this way. Next, I'm taking the spoolie end of my brow brush and just combing them upward and downward at the tail. Next, I am taking my NYX Liquid Illuminator, and this is in the lightest shade, Sunbeam. And I am just applying a small bit to my middle finger, and I am going to apply that to my cheekbones. And I'm using a patting motion so it doesn't look streaky. I'm also applying a little bit to my Cupid's bow. Now it's time for eyes. I'm first taking my Mark setting, like, what's it called? Eyeshadow primer in the shade light medium and I'm taking this on my ring finger and first putting it on my eyelid Then I'm also going to put it on my brow bone inner corner and underneath my eyes Now I'm taking my oh JK. I'm having trouble opening it Oh, did I get it? Yep. There we go. So this is the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk I'm just putting that on my brow bone and in my inner corner. Then I'm just going to blend that out with my ring finger. Now I'm taking this eyeshadow quad by Avon in Mocha Latte. And I'm also going to use a crease brush from Avon and I'm taking that white shade and just setting the milk pencil that I did just a few seconds ago. I'm going to use that palette once again with an eyeshadow brush and I'm taking, it's like a flat kind of brush and I'm taking number two which is the light matte brown. and I am putting this shade all over my eyelid. Next, I'm taking the darker brown matte shade and using the top of the brush to define my crease. I'm also making a little L with this color on the outer third of my eyelid. Then I'm taking that same shadow and smoking out the bottom lash line. Now I'm taking that crease brush again and the white shadow and just going over the highlighted parts again. Okay, so I'm taking this glimmer stick by Avon in the color blackest black and I'm just going to line my waterline and my tight line. And I know it's probably bad to pull your skin a little bit, but I'm not pulling hard at all. I'm only pulling very lightly. Now I'm going to use my eyelash curler. I don't know where I got this. It's probably from Avon. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. And now I'm taking my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara in the blackest black. Okay, so upper lashes are done, and now I'm just taking my Avon Super Extend Mascara, which is also in black as black, and I am applying this to my bottom lashes. I like this wand because it is thinner and smaller, so it's great for bottom lashes. Okay, now for lips, I am taking this, I can't even read it, but it's probably from Avon. It's just a shimmery light pink, and I am running out of it because it is my favorite. So that is the finished look. I am just going to take my hair down and style it like normal. What was I doing here? I don't know. Okay, 
there we go that is the finished look this is my everyday go-to makeup it's just very neutral and my hair is just well my hair I don't like to heat style it very often but when I do I like to curl it more so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and to the outro so that is my everyday makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed my first makeup video um, I want to start doing these more because I love makeup I love doing it I love finding new products if you guys enjoyed this video Leave it a like down below and comment other makeup related videos that you guys would want me to do. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it just tells you when I upload videos like this one or like my other comedy-ish ones. So I love you guys and I will see you guys next week. Oh! Oh, well,